Okay, 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 let's get straight into it and you're going to find out how fast the 5800H is because we've got some benchmarks of the new AMD CPUs, the 5000 series CPUs in laptops and I'm going to show you it paired up with an RTX 3000 series GPU and oh my god, it is fast, it is seriously fast and then in this video I'm going to show you where I got that, you know, sort of figure of 30% faster with the RTX, you know, 3000 series GPUs. I'm also going to talk to you about what the RTX RTX 3000 GPUs are missing. There is something missing from them, at least when we're talking about the laptops compared to desktops. We'll just talk about that in a sec. First of all, Wolf, here we go. Here we go. So this is Cinebench R20. So this is not the latest one, R23, I think it is. And you can see there the score, the multi-core score of 4,809. So this is AMD Ryzen 7 5800H, probably be the backbone of sort of gaming laptops. So for reference, the last model, the 4800H, would get around 4,200 to 4,400. So it's at least 400 points faster. So from my reckoning, that's over 10%. So double digit, you know, performance gain over the last generation, 5000 to 4000 series. So yeah, there you go, over 10%. That's in multi-core. We don't know if this is going to be typical or this is a slow one. And an Intel CPU, they can bench anywhere from the high 3000s and they can actually do 4400 if they're under voltage overclocked, but they use a lot more power than the AMD systems. And a single core there, that's, yeah, it's all right. That's pretty fast. Um, it's nothing to write home about there with the single core speed. But let's get into that CPU paired up with an RTX 3060. So same CPU, 5800H and RTX 3060 GPU. So this is Time Spy. See the overall score of 8941. Graphics score of 8,843, CPU score of 9,542. Now, I guess we can see the frequency. It's doing over 4 gigahertz pretty much the whole time. And it's going up and down like a yo-yo in sort of some of these graphics tests there. But what does that mean? 5,800H, RTX 3060, how does that perform to, say, last generation? Well, let's get a freshly benchmarked. And I actually benchmarked this today. And we'll just put these side by side. All right, so I benchmarked the Zephyrus 17, and that's on the right. So that has an RTX 2080 Super. All right, 2080 Super. Also has a 10875H, which is an 8-core Intel processor. It is faster, slightly, but we're talking nothing, right? 9,160 versus 8,941. The CPU... Yeah, it's a little bit faster with the 5800H on the left. But look at that graphic score. On the left, RTX 3060, 8843. On the right, RTX 2080 Super. But that just blows me away, right? We're talking nearly the same performance. If we're talking GPU score of 8843 versus 9000, that is just like... It's virtually the same. I mean, that can just be a variance of a run. And yeah, that's a 3060. So big performance gains. And do you need anything more than a 3060 now? I mean, that is wolf. RTX 2080 super sort of power there. I'll have to see in some more benchmarks, but mightily impressed at the moment. There were some other benchmarks. These weren't with 3060s, these were actually with a 5800H, but actually had a 1650. So this would be a very budget sort of gaming rig. And there you can see there, 44 FPS. I don't even know what game that is. In light to me, it's not one I benchmark. And there was another one here with the 5800H as well. And this one, I do know what it is. And yeah, you can see there, 1650 and a 5800H. Obviously, we want to see 30, 60s, 30, 70s, 30, 80s, but yeah, that is what it is for now. Now, let me tell you about how much faster these NVIDIA GPUs are going to be and how they compare to desktop and the one missing thing that they have. 